Hi guys. Now, earlier over here we did uh, a pulley question whereby one weight was uh, going up and another weight over here was going down. Now, this question over here you can see that I have prepared for you that one block over here, this is a wooden block, a uh, 5 kilogram wooden block. This one over here basically will move over here to the right, being pulled over here by this 2 kilogram weight that we have. Okay, now I'm going to spice up the question a little bit. This uh, five, kilo, uh, 5 kilogram wooden block over here will also experience a frictional force of 5 newtons. Okay, this is another addition to that question. Huh? So this is friction over here and the value for friction is over here given to you as 5 newtons. Okay guys, 5 kilogram wooden block is over here moving to the right. It's being pulled over here by this 2 kilogram block going down. And a 5 newton friction is acting on the block. Now remember guys, friction always moves in the opposite direction of the motion of your wooden block. Now, let's first over here write the tensions. Now, tension over here for the 5 kilogram block over here moves in this direction. For the 2 kilogram, this is over here, the direction of tension. Okay, now to solve this, let's do it over here one by one. Huh? Talk about this two kilogram over here, weight first. Now guys, remember what I taught you previously. This two kilogram weight is going down. If this two kilogram weight is going down, now ask yourself, mg or tension, which value over here is higher? Okay, these two are the tensions guys. Huh? So mg or tension, which is higher? Now remember, if it's going down, always mg minus tension okay because mg is higher now equals to ma now remember this formula over here where you've taken it from f equals to ma guys everything is using f equals to ma eh? i'll just write down so f equals to ma so your f over here is mg minus t equals to ma now your m over here two kilogram okay your g over here 10 minus tension equals to 2a. Now, solving this over here, you'll get 20 minus t equals to 2a. All right. Now, next over here, look at this 5 kilogram block, huh? wooden block. Your tension is pulling it to the right hand side. And then you have a friction of 5 newton. So if you look over here horizontally, guys, huh? tension and friction. So over here, what you'll get is your tension minus your 5 newtons friction and this equals to over here your ma okay but guys now i want you to check this thing out very carefully yeah? tension minus over here your friction which is 5 newtons equals to your mass of the block over here how many kilograms 5 kilograms okay and your acceleration over here you don't know. You're going to find that acceleration value. Okay. Now, guys, don't get confused. Huh? Remember, your F equals to MA over here. Your F is tension minus friction. That's why T minus 5 equals to your mass over here, 5A. Okay. Now, with these two values over here, what we can do now, if you don't mind, I would like to rearrange the negative T in front. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to write it like this. Negative T plus 20 equals to 2a. Now, guys, I'm only rearranging it. Eh? I'm going to put this as equation number 2 and this fellow over here as equation number 1. Okay? Now, watch. Eh? I'm going to take equation 1 over here plus equation 2. Okay? Now, when I take equation 1 plus equation 2, watch, eh, guys. Negative t plus with over here t, what do you get? 0. 20 plus negative 5 you will get over here 15 okay equals to 5a plus with 2a you will get 7a now with this over here a equals to 15 over 7 ms negative 2 so guys you got your value for a very simple what do you have to do next is you just take this sub a into maybe you take equation 1 okay when you sub A into equation 1 over here, very simple. You can find over here the value for T. Okay, so I'm just teaching you this question. You can find the value of A and you can also find the value of T. I'll just show it to you, guys. Huh? 15 over 7 over here, we use our calculator and we solve it. 
15 divide 7, 2.14. I'll take correctable to two decimal points. Okay, now over here, if I sub A into equation 1, this is equation 1, isn't it? So T minus 5 equals to 5, 2.14, la, sub the value. So T over here, if you calculate, 2.14 times it over here, your 5. Okay, and after that, negative 5 goes to the other side, positive 5. So we'll get 15.7 newtons. You can see, guys how simple it is to solve this kind of questions, okay? Now, 